the next thing, you can go in several directions at this point. After you have done K27 and palmed your eyes and, and literally held these neurovasculars over the top of your head, it sets the, the field of energy so that your body can be more receptive. And um, there, at this point, there are different directions you can take. One is, say you have a lot of stress going on in your body. Say you have old stress that you can't get rid of. Every now and then, um, something comes up and grabs you from your past. You don't want to be plugged into it. You don't want to uh, be thinking about it all the time. You don't want to be depressed about it, but you can't let go. Now, I'm going to show you a very simple way. Would anybody like to uh, be a guinea pig in this particular exercise? Who thinks they might? You don't have to tell us what that might be. I'm just going to give you the technique and the tool that you will have. Okay. Oh, I love your dress. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, I've spoken several times about the importance of the figure eight and what uh, and how your body, literally on your DNA, on the what that DNA helix of every cell has a figure eight. And it is the kundalini force that goes up the spine. That figure eight repeats itself again and again and again in our bodies, in our muscles, in our cells, in our bones. And, um, and it's very, very helpful with trying to um, break, well, let's see, it's helpful in disconnecting a thought pattern that your brain wants to come back to and repeat thinking about, especially of a negative kind. And it, all, it has to do with the eyes many times, because if your eyes were really staring or taking information in when those thought patterns were, were imprinted in your brain, then it is through your eyes that you release. Now, there is a, uh, a particular way that has become more popular um, that that many therapists do by just simply taking the fingers in front of the eyes and going back and forth. Now I, and you simply follow the fingers with your eyes. I'm going to show you a way that works a bit better, okay? And you can do it to yourself. You can lay down on your bed, get very, very comfortable when you want to give a little bit of time to this. And if you gave you know, maybe five minutes to this every day, you can start moving that kind of energy out of your um, system. So, all right, so what we're going to do is this. Let's see, I'm going to test with this arm so that everybody can see what I'm doing. You hold your arm real strong. Okay, she's nice and strong. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a figure eight in front of your eyes, and I want you to keep your head looking straight in that same direction, but just follow it with your eyes. But first, I'm going to ask you to bring to mind something that trips you up and comes back into your being and you can't let it go. Okay, just try to bring to mind the memory or the thought or the negative feeling or whatever it is. And, you, and when you've got it, you've really got it, tell me, you've got it. Got it. Okay, open your eyes. First, I'll show you this. She's got it, and that's how quick stress hits the body. It's instant. It's automatic. And, and you lose energy, uh, and a tremendous amount of energy through that kind of stress. So now I'm going to get you a little bit strong for this so that we can really have a strong test here. Okay, now what I want you to do is... Uh, and if your arm becomes tired, you tell me, okay? Because I'm going to test this periodically. First, I'm just going to ask you to watch my fingers as I go in a figure eight pattern, up, over, under, up, over, under. And first I'm going to see now if you hold your strength on that. Okay, hold. And she doesn't. Now what we want is for her to be very strong on a figure eight. So that means that something in her eye patterns have become disconnected through some deep stress, okay? So this time we're gonna find out where that is, all right? So you follow, let's see, I'm gonna get you strong again. And, okay, now follow my fingers. I'm just gonna go very slow now and I'm gonna test there. 
already. So I want you just to look there and think of your stress. You can rest your arm for a moment. Just think of your stress. Okay. It takes about 10 or 12 seconds minimum before it, it just blows it. And I'm going to go around a little bit further and hold. That's fine there. That's fine. And she's very weak there. And this usually represents how, the direction you were looking when you got hit with some powerful stress. And we're going to test again. A little bit weak. <laughs> Okay, now she's strong going around, and it should be that now she should keep, you keep thinking of your stress, okay? Okay, now I'm going to test you now. Okay, so now she's strong, and what will happen, it doesn't mean that it's completely gone, but she's starting to make chinks in that, that old pattern, and doing it enough will start to disconnect, and one day you'll just notice, oh my God, that's not coming back anymore. Okay? Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Did everybody understand how to do that? That is so good. You'll, and I, I can teach that to little children. They can do that themselves, and then they, they come back for their session and say, you don't need to work with that anymore. It's gone. You know, it's like, and it, it empowers children to be able to handle their own stresses. And it, it's just empowering in this world.